Today I'm here with Martha at Shady Hill Greenhouses in Londonderry, New Hampshire, and it's a beautiful spring day. We're in this 30 by 96 freestanding greenhouse, and we're talking about hanging baskets. We have all this vertical space in this greenhouse to take advantage of in the spring, and it's great to understand how you can set up a system to support the weight and to automate the watering and make sure that the plants have enough sunlight and airflow when they're growing in here. So I'd love to hear a little bit about, you know, the advantages that you see for setting up a system and um, what else is involved. Yeah, sure. The, um, the system is great. It really helps us um, maximize the space in a greenhouse. Um, as a grower in New England, you're always trying to fit as much as you can in in the spring. So um, this system really helps us out with that because we have um, we have about 480 um, hangers in this one greenhouse and uh, we plant them in another greenhouse. When they're big enough, we move them in here and in here they can get the automated water. It's less hand watering. Mm -hmm. um, they're spaced every two feet on okay. each line. Okay. So they get a really good amount of um, air circulation, sun exposure, and um, a, a good amount of space so they can grow nice and full. Um, so this is a great, you know, early season revenue stream for your business, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, and the, it's all being supported on the, the, the basically the truss trusses of the, the tunnel. So we've got a great little example here of what that would be looking like. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously the greenhouse is designed to support this weight, so you don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Um, but basically, what does your system look like and how, how is it set up? Um, so our system, it, it goes along the trusses. So we have a, a rubber tubing, irrigation tubing that we actually zip tie. Um, to to the lines and um, that makes it a quick and easy way to uh, access them and make sure everything's running smoothly. Great and then each um, basket has its own a little emitter that drops down into the basket so you can keep it watered individually. Yep so each basket has a tube um, we have it spaced every other so the lower baskets have a 36 inch tube the higher ones have an 18 inch tube, so that's good for spacing. Um, and it's really good for making sure that everything gets enough water because, you know, if one emitter's not working in a whole line, you can single that one out and change it so right. everything's good. What do we have growing here in this greenhouse? So in this greenhouse, we have million bells, uh -huh. um, caliber coa, and they're growing in 10 inch pots. Um, so we usually have them ready for around Mother's Day is, is our aim to really start selling them. Great, and you could do a whole bunch of other, um, you could do strawberries, you could do, what other things would you typically plant in baskets? Um, well, for a lot of hanging baskets, we have, um, we do our combo mix in 12 inch. So we have petunias, bacopa, um, sometimes scavola. We kind of like to mm -hmm. mix it up and have a good variety. And um, we'll do a lot of petunias, we do sun patients, um, fuchsia, so it, it's really nice to be able to utilize the space above us. Yes. Um, and we can, we can organize it so certain hangers will get certain requirements that they need when others don't. So. Great. Well, a lot of um, beautiful flowers, and Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's, it's wonderful to come in the spring and see all this color. So. Yeah, we're, uh, we're ready for it, so. <laughs> Good, well thank you very much for describing the system to yeah. us. Thank you. So Martha, we are standing now in front of the irrigation manifold system that you have set up in the greenhouse to basically automate the watering for all of the hanging baskets, which I would say is a necessity with almost 500 baskets in here. Yeah. So describe a little bit about the system and how it works. So um, right here we have the water um, coming up to the greenhouse, you have your ball valve. Um, we have a filter, so the water is filtered. And um, then we have a timer, which is um, extremely handy. So as you go up, we have the manifold up here. And um, you can see each ball valve um, has a different tube, so that's a different drip line. So when I was talking earlier about it's, it's really, um, it's really easy and helpful to have certain 
certain hangers on certain lines. Yep. Um, this, this is where that comes from. So, you know, you might have a 12 inch hanger that needs more water. Uh -huh. So you can leave this one on. And if all the other ones are 10 inch, then you can turn all of these off. Great. Right. Um, the timer really comes in handy because um, especially for us as a retailer and a grower, we're, we're all over the place. We're helping customers. We're checking all of our greenhouses. So um, it's good to know that if I set this for 20 minutes, it's on for 20 minutes. I'm not going to remember an hour later that, oh no, I have to go turn those off. Right, right. So. Great. And then if you removed a whole um, ba a row of baskets, then that one would be turned off. So you'd have it all very regulated. Yep, very regulated and, and it um, cuts down on, you know, the hand watering mm -hmm. labor um, and just as you mentioned, if we have an open line, we can turn that line off so the water is not running, so we're not wasting water and, and fertilizer. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really crucial if you're going to be growing hanging baskets to, to have this system. Great. Well, um, it's nice to see a, an example of what this looks like, yeah. and um, I'm sure you're very thankful to not have to be hand-watering so yes. much. Yes. <laughs>